my understanding is that what Docker did for packaging code is what Dagger wants to do for application delivery. Is that a correct summary, Solomon? Would you agree with that? In one dimension, yes. I mean, there's major differences, but there was something we were trying to do when we worked on Docker, and there were multiple opportunities, and we had to choose one. And, you know, Docker made a choice to focus on being a next generation runtime for, for applications, right? It's a new way to a specific build artifact, a specific runtime, and it has advantages over existing runtimes, high level language runtimes, and high level paths building your own on top of a VM, you know, containers hit that sweet spot. And so with Docker, we, we had no choice but to follow the market, what the market wanted out of Docker. That was a new kind of runtime. And that eventually became an infrastructure concern. But what we worked on that led us to Docker initially was a different goal. We were trying to standardize. You know, we were trying to unify the industry around something, anything, so that we could all leverage at least one thing that we all had in common. But it turns out once you enter the, the arena as one possible runtime, you can win or lose in that arena. You can be very, very successful. And I think Docker as a runtime was very successful, even more successful if you include the clones and forks, etc. But it was not ubiquitous and it can't because fragmentation is inevitable. And so what we realized this time around is if we want to actually contribute something that can truly be ubiquitous, you know, that anyone can use regardless of their choice of runtime and infrastructure and language and anything, then you have to give up on also wanting to be the runtime for the application. You have to choose. That's why, you know, Sam mentioned all these application standards and Docker Compose through CNAB, which is my understanding is it's kind of taking that model and trying to make it a ubiquitous standard, it will never be because it can't, because it includes strong assumptions about what an application should look like. It gives one answer to the question, where is the line? Where is the line between application and infrastructure? What's the shape of the line? You know, how do you connect the two? That's an answer. And so if you're rooting for that standard, that implementation, you're rooting for everyone to adopt that answer. What we're doing is we're rooting for everyone to define their own answer. You know, the answer to where's the line between application and infrastructure and how do you connect them? It will be a different answer for each software team, we believe. There'll be patterns, you know, commonalities, you know, that will come and go. But yeah, your, your delivery platform, the way you connect application to infrastructure, if you're a software-enabled business, it's strategic. You know, it's, it's unique to your application. And if your platform is generic, then that means your application is generic. It's not a realistic goal. So our goal is to, to answer your question, we're kind of picking up an original goal that we had while we worked at Docker that we had to abandon. Uh, and then we're trying to achieve it in a different way by saying, we're not going to run your application. We're not going to tell you how to run your application. You tell us how you want to run it and how you want to deploy it. And Dagger can help you. <laughs>